Hey everybody, I'm Isaac. I'm Taylor. And I'm Zach. And, and we're Hanson. We are here to introduce you to the top five albums to introduce your children to great music. And I actually will say, you probably don't need to be a child in order to enjoy and understand. It could music. be a musical child, as in you've never listened to much music and you really need to be exposed to some quality. Or you've only been listening to the top 40 lately. Right. And you need so to let's hear start some it out. good music. Probably the thing we should start off with is you know the greatest rock and roll band of all time, some Beatles. So yep. I think probably Rubber Soul. Yep, I'd say Rubber, Rubber Soul is one of the Rubber best. Rubber Soul is a great way to, to, to begin, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Drive My Car, if I remember correctly, Norwegian Wood. Yes. Um, I mean, the list of amazing songs on that record is just is phenomenal. And well, the, that was the, also a transformative record for them, For the Beatles, yeah. Because it was the point when I think a lot of guys who otherwise had been like, eh, the Beatles were like, oh right, they've been writing amazing songs exactly. for years. And they kind of, in a lot of ways, they kind of invented the modern pop song in so many ways. You know, if we're trying to introduce your kids to music, and again, anybody to music, you have to know the Beach Boys, because the Beach Boys Absolutely. pioneered so many vocal arrangements. The album Pet Sounds is the, mm -hmm. number two on our list. This is an album that um, that in, inspired the Beatles to make Sgt. Peppers, um, and you know in, inspired a whole kind of series of bands to arrange you know songs in a certain ways. I mean, I know it inspired Queen. I know it is inspiration to a ton of other artists. To us, to us. Yeah. Um, I think the other thing that's really important about picking the Beatles and then the Beach Boys is that they're these are jumping off points for you when you first start listening to the Beatles starting with Rubber Soul and then you can go backwards or forwards and get a lot of really interesting things from the Beatles. The Beach Boys is the same way. I would go next, this is something a little more upbeat. I think we go to Michael Jackson. I, I'm particularly uh, dangerous. I think it's an amazing yeah. record through and through. It's the kind of thing you turn on and it doesn't matter whether you're hearing the lyrics or the melody or just the rhythm or all of it together, you start moving. Babies start cooing, you know, in rhythm to... Michael Jackson. Jackson. Rhythm is always an inspiration for kids. And that's why leading, bringing us on to our next one, rhythm and volume is also huge for kids. You have to do some real rock. And so ACDC's High Voltage. It's great. Yeah, ACDC you have to go down as some classic. This is what rock sounds like. This is what <laughs> disturbing the peace sounds like. <laughs> Baby, don't go. It is slightly awkward because there are a few references that may be not completely child appropriate, like she's got balls. They don't know what but that means. They don't know. They they probably she's, she's got balls like like bouncy rubber bouncing balls. Rubber balls. These yeah. kids might not even understand English. That's true. It's true. I will say the thing that's also cool about uh, ACDC High Voltage is it is one of these records that if you're trying to learn how to play guitar, this is an amazing record to learn to play guitar to. Um, there are so many songs that are very straightforward and, and, and right off the bat easy to learn, but then there's a lot of complexity in the arrangements, and very importantly, the solos on this record are great. Very learnable solos, but it's an amazing record to learn how to play rock music yes, as well. Yes, that's great. Now, we only have one more selection, I think, because I was thinking, you know, well, Paul Simon, there's only five Graceland. albums, you can, never, you can never be all together right. It's, it's either... To me, it's either Paul Simon or it's it's Billy it's Joel. Billy Joel. Yeah. yeah. 
So, if so you you're going to have a Pauly Joel. We're going to go with The Stranger by Billy Joel. Joel. This is another place where you're getting great singer-songwriter, but a little more, um, I mean, this really has sort of that, uh, you know, so stage show kind of exactly. element to it, where you're, you feel like you could be performed as a musical. Almost exactly. a lot of Billy's music has that quality, and that's why it's been so successful when it's been turned into. Let me down before. So we have like, a lot to say about music. Well, because this is what we do. So I, I think we should wrap it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for checking out uh, our five selections for to introduce your kids to music, or just people who are musical kids, or musical children. You will be adults after this. Welcome to the.